Are you always short on mega energy? Tired of having to do mega raids to get mega energy? In this video, I will teach you how to get infinite amounts of mega energy without doing raids. There are multiple free to play ways to obtain them. With the following methods, you will never have to worry about mega energy anymore. The first free to play method is through quests. You can obtain mega energy from both special researches and field researches. The only downside is that not every mega energy is always available in quests. The best advice I can give you is to grind as many quests as possible whenever new quests are being added to the game. This is usually during certain events. The second free to play method is by walking with your buddy. When you mega evolve a certain Pokemon, you unlock earning mega energy from walking with every Pokemon of that family as your buddy. So for example, I do have a Mega Charizard registered in my Mega Dex, which means that I can walk with every Charmander, Charmeleon and Charizard in order to get Charizard Mega Energy. So once you've registered a Pokemon into your Mega Dex, you have also unlocked walking with any species of that family to earn Mega Energy. If it's not registered, you will not earn Mega Energy. You can easily check which ones you have registered by going to the Mega Pokedex. And as you can see, I have registered every Mega Evolution that is currently available in the game. The third free to play method is by leveling up your Pokemon's Mega Level. After you Mega Evolve a Pokemon, you will be able to Mega Evolve it again for free after a resting period. While your Pokemon is resting, you can also use a reduced amount of Mega Energy to Mega Evolve your Pokemon before then. As your Pokemon Mega Level increases, it will earn additional bonuses. I'm not gonna go through them all because that's for a different video. But the most important ones are, the higher your Pokemon's Mega Level is, the less Mega Energy it will cost you to Mega Evolve it and also the less long the resting period becomes. And thus, the faster you will be able to mega evolve that specific Pokemon again for free, which is huge. Now what exactly are mega levels in Pokemon Go? Every Pokemon you mega evolve has a mega level. Your Pokemon's mega level increases the more you mega evolve them. There are three mega levels in Pokemon Go. The base level, the high level and the max level which apply to individual Pokemon rather than entire species. For example, even if one of your Mega Charizards reaches the max Mega level, your other Charizards will still have to Mega Evolve individually to increase their Mega levels. So let's have a look at the different Mega levels. Base level. Reaching base level only requires one Mega Evolution. Once Mega Evolved, you have reduced Mega Energy cost, which is one fifth of the initial Mega Energy cost. The Mega Evolution rest period is seven days. So this means that the first time you Mega Evolve, you will have to pay the full price. But once that's done, you will be able to Mega Evolve this specific Pokémon for free every 7 days. High Level Reaching High Level only requires 7 Mega Evolutions. Once you reach this level, you will have another reduced Mega Energy cost of 20 Mega Energy. The Mega Evolution Rest Period is now only 5 days. And last but not least, Max Level. Reaching Max Level requires 30 Mega Evolutions. Once you reach this level, you will have another reduced Mega Energy cost of 5 Mega Energy. And the Mega Evolution Rest Period is now only 3 days. This means once a Pokémon reaches its Max Mega Level, you will be able to Mega Evolve this Pokémon for free every 3 days. Which is huge! huge. But of course, to reach the max mega level, you will have to mega evolve your Pokemon at least 30 times. Important to know is that you can only increase your mega level progress once a day per Pokemon. So in order to reach the max mega level, you will have to mega evolve the same Pokemon over a period of 30 different days, which is a grind. This of course requires a lot of mega energy or a lot of time if you only want to mega evolve them for free by waiting out its resting period. According to my calculations, it would cost you a total of 900 mega energy if you want to mega evolve the same Pokemon over a period of 30 days. And if you want to wait out the resting period, it would take you 157 days in total to bring your Pokemon from zero to max mega level, which is not that bad if you think about it. The only issue is that you want to mega evolve certain Pokemon during certain events. So you're missing out on a lot of bonuses if you're going to take the long road. By combining all three free to play methods, you will never have to worry about mega energy again. Using this technique will allow you to easily grind that successor batch to platinum in no time. Let me know in the comments below what your successor batch looks like. Peace!